you will never know how important calculators are until you don't have them. The best calculator I ever had was when I was an engineering student. Uh, let me tell you more about it. The first people to use a calculator were the Sumerians. They had the abacus. After them, many civilizations copied the abacus and improved upon it. For example, the Chinese. The first true calculator was invented by Blaise Pascal in 1642. The first mechanical calculator was invented by Kurt Hertzstuck in 1945 and they were produced in bulk until the 1970s. And then the Japanese invented the first digital pocket calculators. And these designs were adapted by the American companies. I have used many calculators during my student days from slide rules. Actually, I started with paper and pencil. And I used to uh, write out my calculation and do it that way. And then I moved on to slide rules when I was in Form 6. And then uh, when I went to university, I started using calculators. Let me tell you more about the best calculator I had. Then in either 1979 or 1980, I bought my first HP 41CV. This was the scientific calculator to buy. It was impressive. And the thing about it was it worked on reverse Polish notation, RPN. That is why you cannot find any cool sign on the keyboard. So it was good for scientific people. And I did wonders on this calculator because as a computer engineering student, I was learning Fortran, Algol, and we were keying in our program on paper tape and punch cards and we'd submit the uh, punch cards to the computer room they will process it and run the program and then give us a printout of the results and that was slow because we submit in the morning we get our results back in the evening or the next day it wasn't as great as the modern technology now the smartphones they are fantastic but we could do calculations. For engineering, it's so important to be able to do calculations. And when I bought this uh, HP 41CV, I was accompanying my friends to the casinos. I, I didn't know how to gamble, but I'd love to understand how to gamble. And um, uh, that is why I decided that maybe let me go and see what gambling is about and how to beat the bank right and I used I think I if I remember correctly this was about 40 years ago if I remember correctly I used Gaussian elimination to derive some equations and solve uh, for how much money I have to put on each bet let's say there are five horses running in the race and uh, I needed to find out they have each horse has different odds so how much money I have to put on each horse so that whichever wins I will make money or at least I will recover the amount of money I put on the bed and it worked wonderfully the only problem I found was that just before the race starts the bookies will change the bets so you have to recalculate everything and uh, it would be too late to uh, try and uh, uh, do uh, new bets. So then I followed my friends to the casinos. They were doing it and I sat down and watched how the game was played, what are the rules and I realized actually you can break the bank provided you have a million million dollars you can break any casino. If you don't have the kind of money don't waste your time because the banker in the casino always wins. So when I started using this calculator, I used to run, let it run for five days to do my calculations. And uh, that was wonderful. Those days, that was wonderful. Now you run on the computer like this, 
I think in one or two minutes he'll give you the answer. This guy took me five days because it was a very early computer design. Now, when I was studying engineering, we had 32K EEPROM memory chips. 32K bytes. Now we have 64 gigabytes. A million times more memory. Two million more times more. Now hard disk is in terabytes. That's a million a thousand million million bytes yeah and we complain that's not enough memory my programs used to run under 16k 8k of memory and we'll do wonderful things especially in automation can you imagine how the technology has changed and how much we have evolved and our equipment has evolved it is truly amazing isn't it how technology has improved in the last 40 years it's unbelievable can you imagine when I was a student, I never dreamt that there would be mobile phones and handphones and smartphones and digital cameras. This is the calculator on my smartphone, the older smartphone, not the current one I'm using. And it changes into a scientific calculator. I don't know what it is. It changes into a scientific calculator all on one phone would you believe 40 years ago that a phone will be doing calculations for you i remember when i first bought this hp 41 cv it cost me a bomb 20 years later in the year 2000 china was making basic 10 digit calculators just add subtract multiply divide for one ringgit 25 cents each and People were importing them into Malaysia and selling them for 10 ringgit each. That's about 250 US dollars. How the prices crashed. Now, every Tom, Dick and Harry can write a calculator program on your computer. It's wonderful how technology has moved on. If you know how to do calculations, the computer can do fantastic calculations for you from editing your images and videos to all sorts of calculations like predicting how the supermarket will move over the next few years. It's amazing, isn't it? How much we are now dependent on science and technology. Okay, check out the links down there and subscribe if you like my videos.